Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I am mad. I am mad at the UK court system for being unjust. Now, I don't say that as some Johnny Depp stan here who's just sour grapes. No, I'm going through a case that I've been following for over a year now. Thanks to all of you who've been helping me stay in tune and, and giving me all the evidence. What happened today to Johnny Depp is unbelievable. Today, Johnny Depp lost his chance to appeal the case against the Sun. And I'm still for I'm still a loss of words. But over the past several hours, I've prepared and gone through the judgment that came in. And I want to share it with you guys bit by bit, the most important parts, so you can understand why this is so troubling. This is so wrong what just happened. And it shows how corrupt the UK legal system is. Okay? Now, I'm going to go through all this, but this is a hard video to do because YouTube does not like this topic. They do not like AH and anything I say about this topic. So, human reviewer, I speak to you now. I am not going to say anything against the community guidelines. In fact, I've blacked out any word that could go against the guidelines. I will not say any said words, and I will strictly talk about the case itself, the legal as aspects, and none of the topics that could be against the guidelines. So, human reviewer, you, you better be fair here. And in fact, you guys can help tell me if they're fair. I'm going to try, try to place an ad here because that's how you can tell if they've limited a video and, and, it's, and it's shareability. Uh, so let's see. Tell me down in the comments whether it works. You know the drill. Uh, but thank you guys for watching and supporting and getting me this far. It's, it's un unbelievable how hard it is to get this story out there. And that's why, if anything, I implore, please share this video. Like this video. Comment down below as you're watching multiple times if you need be. Uh, just be careful of your keywords, too, because even the keywords I'm avoiding, if you say them down below, the algorithm picks that up, too, I've been told. It's insane. All right. So let's break this down, guys. I really want to go through this importantly because there's so much to get through. Now, I'm going to break down some of the most important parts I've gathered them here. Uh, but before I do that, it's important. The, the judgment document that was handed down does a brief summary of where we were at at this point. And I want to give that to all of the viewers as well, in case you don't know exactly what's happening. Let me break it down for you. I have some notes here. So apologies if I'm looking off camera. That's I want to make sure I get everything right. Uh, but just as the judgment document did, they go through a quick recap of events. And I want to remind everybody, this was not a case of Johnny versus Amber. Okay. This was a case about Johnny versus NGN. The news group newspapers owned by Rupert Murdoch, etc. Uh, but more specifically, The Sun. The Sun is a nasty tabloid that just prints salacious lies to sell papers. Go Google them. They are not good company to keep. But somehow, Amber is so happy to be defended by The Sun. <laughs> I mean, that's red flag number one in knowing her character. The fact that, yes, thank you, The Sun, for helping to get this done and defending me. She should be so proud. Uh, so Johnny was suing the son, okay? She wasn't suing Amber, but she was suing the son over a defamatory headline that painted him in a very bad way. And I can't talk about that headline because that headline, you know why. That's the, all my warning at the up top. But if you want to know what the headline said, you can easily Google it. You'll find Johnny Depp, the son headline. Go find it and you'll be up to date on what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to avoid saying. Uh, but I have to be careful of these keywords. Uh, but so, okay, so this case was always about the son having to prove that the headline was in fact truthful. Okay, and did Johnny do what the headline said it did? He did. That's what this case really boiled down to. But a lot of people, I think, misunderstand what it's actually about. So, in order for the Sun to try and prove that headline accurate, they brought in Amber as a witness. Okay, and the case went on for weeks, and Justice Nickel was who was uh, providing you know, presiding over the case. Okay, he also is the one who gave the ruling in, in favor of the Sun. Uh, at the end of the day. Uh, but the defense uh, was that the allegation was true because Mr. Depp on numerous occasions had done what the headline said. Amber was brought, uh, brought up 14 separate incidents covering a three-year period between 2013 and May 2016. Judge found Amber in Amber's favor and said that he did something in all, in all of those except for two of those occasions. So that's 12 occasions that the judge said unequivocally, yes, Johnny did what the headline said. Now, if you go through the case and actually go through the evidence, and, the, and it's, just, it's a lot to get through, but if you actually go through it, it is nonsense what the judge's verdict was on those things. There was no evidence. In fact, the judge ignored all of Johnny's evidence, but accepted Amber's evidence and took Amber's credibility over Johnny, and we'll get to why in a second, but it's just important. That's the, that's the quickest recap I can give you everything, okay? Uh, so after losing the case, Depp filed for an appeal, okay? And right here, he filed for permission to appeal against uh, the decision that uh, application uh, to permission to rely in support of the appeal or on evidence, which was not before the judge, which is said to have cast serious doubt on Mr. Miss Heard's credibility, okay? So the credibility is what all of this falls upon. 
and where the UK appeals judge failed, in my opinion, because they failed to acknowledge the fact that, yes, there was a massive credibility problem that the judge just accepted. Okay? So now going through some of these points here, uh, the judge examined uh, a number of points relied on by Mr. Depp, apart from the 14 incidents, as reflecting badly on Ms. Heard's credibility, the credibility issues. His conclusion was none of them carried substantial weight. Okay? So it's important to, to sort of remember that. Okay? It's important as we go through that, what's sort of important to know there of what the judge deemed nothing <laughs> that, the, that Depp's attorneys put together as, as worth at subs nothing that substantial had carried substantial weight. Okay, that's how they put it. So evidence that Johnny showed Amber was a liar didn't didn't hold any substantial weight. Tapes, proof that Amber did things didn't hold any substantial weight. Uh, I mean, Johnny brought in police officers that actually attested. Didn't support any, none of this is, uh, nothing. Not, all this credibility, all the evidence, nothing, substantial weight, all of it is important. None of that mattered, okay? Uh, and so... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we'll come back to this because the judge said none of the carry. I'm going to come back to that because it's important, but I, I just want you to, as we build this up, you understand what's happening. Okay. So here, although in one sense that the judge's conclusion, this is, this is the appeals court responding. Okay. You got to understand on why they're denying the appeal. I'll make sure I make that clear. Although in one sense, the judge's conclusion involved him accepting that Miss Heard was a credible witness. Uh, it is important to appreciate that he did not proceed by making some overall assessment of her credibility, which he then fed into his conclusions on an individual uh, incidents. I mean, that's a bold faced lie. That is a bold faced lie. The judge ignored all of Johnny's witnesses, including the police officers completely ignored all of the mountains of evidence that they provided that proved many of her allegations were impossible and didn't take any of it into account. That is, those are facts, guys. Totally, totally just accepted Amber's way, and we'll get to why. The, 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 even the appeals course will, will explain why in a second, but uh, nothing, th this is totally true, totally false, rather. He totally took her as a more credible witness, and then that proceeded to sort of accept why he accepted 12 of the 14 cases. In most of the cases, he did not have to rely only on choosing between the, compe the compe competing testimony of two protagonists because there was contemporaneous evidence of, of the kind in which we have referred to in paragraph two. Also, Mr. Depp made various admissions which were relevant to the overall prob probability. So this is where it's all going to fall. This is why Johnny lost because Johnny got too honest. And I, I, I want to I get to that because the fact is Johnny told the truth on the stand, unlike Amber, who was caught lying on the stand. Johnny told the truth on the stand, and because he was too honest, that some might say, uh, they used that against him. They just made an implication that because he did certain things, well, he must have done the other things. And the fact is, he told the truth. And so here, just a full, full disclosure, they go through, throughout the period in question, Mr. Depp admitted he frequently took quantities of, you know, things and drank, etc. A uh, judge found that uh, the, the, the support from the evidence that includes the drunk that he was and gets in moods of extreme anger, jealousy, and could behave highly, uh, you know, he, he broke some things, I guess was what it's safe to say. Just he put something on the, on the ground. I'm mad. Uh, but because of that, because of that, <laughs> apparently it led to the other thing. But even though they say, well, it does not necessarily follow that angry and jealousy behavior would involve into the, the headline accusation, uh, the judge evidently regarded it as making her allegations likely, more likely to be true. So because he got mad and drank, he must have done what the headline said. That's basically what the judge and the appeal division is saying. Well, that's why. No proof. We don't need proof. We're admitting it doesn't necessarily mean he did that, but because he drank, well, he must have done it. This is the appeal case echoing the judge who's basically making a judgment call that's like, well, he drank, so he must have done it. No proof that he did it. Nothing, guys. Just, oh, well, he must have done it. In fact, again, he does not explain. Then they talk about text messages he sent. These were, these were not good-looking text messages, but they are angry text messages in a moment where this woman was destroying life, taking hundreds of millions of dollars. He was angry. We've all put off some nasty emails, maybe uh, text, maybe not as, as nasty as what China, but these were text messages, private text messages to friends that accidentally got leaked out with him talking privately to somebody. They held that with such regard. They held that, his text messages to friends without, without anything. That, that was something that they took as, as evidence. He does not explicitly admit acts against uh, or heard in these texts, but again, the judge regarded these admissions as making it more plausible that he did in fact commit such acts. Very important to remember that in a minute because the judge just admitted, well, you know, these texts, these out-of-context texts that we can't, you know, follow up on or ask any follow-ups or know what it meant, 
we have those well those are those those definitely make it more plausible guys right the text messages are more plausible because therefore well that must mean he did it got it remember that that's why it's important watch this whole video i'm gonna get to it all so uh none of this is proof okay just more plausible just more plausible guys even though earlier in the document, it's also important that the judge, judge acknowledged neither party had a history of such behavior. That's important. No, no one had a history of it. One admitted to it on tapes. <laughs> but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, she admitted on tape, but, uh, you know, didn't carry any weight. Got it. But the text somehow did. Interesting, right, guys? Well, anyway, so let's keep going. Uh, first, the losing party, is, they go on to sort of explain and admit, look, guys, it's impossible to win an appeal. It doesn't matter what you share. Appeals are impossible. Even the appeal case document is saying, look, it's, it's losing party is not entitled to an appeal. Uh, it's appeal. And the court does not have to hear evidence again. It's the case, you know, the decision is based, yada, yada, yada. They don't have to. They don't have to do any of this. In fact, they go on as far to say the expertise of a trial judge in determining what facts are relevant uh, is decided what those facts are disputed. Tr the trial is not a dress rehearsal. It's the first and last night of the show. Duplication of the trial judge's role in appeals, the disappointing use of limited resources in the courts, making his decision, the trial judge would have to regard to the whole of the sea of evidence presented to him, whereas an appellate court will only be island hopping. The atmosphere of the courtroom cannot in any way be recreated. Thus, an event is plausible to duplicate the role of a trial judge. It cannot be, it, cannot, it just can't be done, guys. A judge is just it. The judge is the only one who can make a call. So the judge can't be wrong. In a case in the UK, they're admitting, well, the judge has it all. Who judges the judges? There are reports that the judge has connections to Amber Heard. Who judges the judges? This is an issue that if you actually go research in the UK, the serious corruption and problems that the judge and the systems have for years. Who investigates the courts when corruption and uh, are exhausted? What do you do? Well, you can't. Well, the judge, you can't recreate the court experience. So therefore, you have to suck it up. Systematically corrupt. Who is judging the judges? No justice in courts. The rule of law has been diminished and the justice has gone to the dogs because these judges get in their seats and they don't never checked. No one's allowed to check them. Well, because you, you could never recreate the atmosphere of a trial. I mean, that's, that, that's it. She's literally caught lying in the trial. But for some reason, he believed her. So therefore, we can't recreate it. The judge has made. You can't appeal that. We can't have you appeal this. I mean, if you appealed this, you're going to prove that, you know, this is, <laughs> this is all fake. I mean, if, if, we, if we did that, uh, I mean, we would we have to open up a million other cases because you'd prove that maybe some of these judges are biased. I mean, think about that. There was no way you could have won this appeal the more I look in these documents. There was no way you could have won because the UK system is corrupt and, and unjust. It is, it is disgusting what we found here. This case proves so much that I'm just, I'm just disgusted by here. Uh, the submission here on behalf acknowledges the difficulty in which those reasons he faced in challenging Nichols' findings, but has argued that there was some fundamental flaws in his approach to fact-finding exercise. Uh, lack of reasoned decision-making, failure to test evidence, and failure to test the credibility of witnesses, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Mr. This is Johnny Depp's lawyer here. Uh, Johnny Depp's lawyer and his well-judged Nicole did it well. He judged it well. Uh, oral submission. But I have to focus on three of these complaints in particular and the best examples where he said the errors of the judges uh, doing. Now, here's where I need to get to. This, and this is where the show gets a little bit more hairy. Again, where I need to put up a disclaimer again. And this is where I need your help because this is the part you're going to you're gonna pull out your hair. Okay? This is the first part we're going to want to pull out your hair. What, what I'm about to show you is insane to me. It's insane to me. But I got to talk about a topic that's always walking that line of whether YouTube will allow me to do it. So I'm asking you guys, if you can't, haven't already subscribed, supported, commented, liked, etc., please at least consider donating. Guys, this is how we make a living is making these shows. And sometimes these platforms hurt us when we make cases like this. So if you can, my link tree uh, link is in the description. You'll find this. It's on my Twitter as well. Uh, you can donate. You can join. You can subscribe. All the methods to support uh, this channel are all in those ways. So if you're able to help, please do. In fact, I want to give you an option to help. Aside from liking the video, if you guys don't have the cash app, I'm gonna, they're sponsoring this video just because they give me a referral code on anybody I sign up. Oh, yeah, and you'll make $5 if you use my code. So I 
I got to do is go download the Cash app. If you don't have it, it's a great app. Some of you in the UK and stuff, I think it's a little bit more expensive to do this, but especially in the States. If you don't have the Cash app yet, go sign up. Get on your phone. It's a great it's a great app. I use it all the time. It's super legit. Use this code. I'll put it in my uh, in the description as well, F-L-L-X-G-H-D. If you use my code, you'll make $5, and you'll make me $15 if you spend $5. So you got to sign up. Use the Cash app. Download it. Sign up using my code. Send $5. And then you'll give me a referral bonus of $15 and you'll make $5. So basically you paid me for nothing. So those of you can't afford to help, at least that's one way you can do it as well as just hitting that subscribe button, the like and the comment. So thank you guys for doing this and tell me again, did we see an ad? Okay. I appreciate you guys. I, I got to do what I can do to try and keep the funding going on this channel because I want to report on this, but I, that means I can't report on other stories that pay. This one's too important to me. So I'm putting it out there and that's why I want to make sure I gave you guys some options to support. I appreciate you because <sighs> this one gets me very upset. Okay, so let's, this, this part particularly, this part particular I'm about to show you is so infuriating. Okay. <sighs> Got to take a breath. Okay. This part right here makes me so, so mad. Okay. So in the first complaint, whether there were clear admissions by her, they talk about the audio tapes now. Uh, in the first complaint from Johnny Depp's lawyer on why they wanted an appeal, uh, Amber Miss Heard recorded and taped conversations that she had on more than once herself had been the starter of things between her and Depp. He, he, he's basically saying, well, she started a lot of it, and we have proof of that in these tapes. He accepted that even if that was the case, it doesn't necessarily mean that Mr. Depp had not also been you know, involved in doing something, but he said that the admissions were important because it was Miss Hurt's evidence throughout that she never initiated it. She never initiated anything dangerous against him, which was a lie because the tapes proved it. The tapes proved she was lying yet again and that our... It was the credibility is out the window. If that was untrue, bound it puts into question her whole credibility of the event, her evidence, what happened. Uh, he referred to two conversations in particular. First is, a and these are, is important so you know the backstory. These they break down this with the two phone, two of the tapes in question. There were more though. I remember more than whatever we've mentioned here, awful ones. But in these tapes, they basically acknowledge that she did things, terrible things to him. They admitted in this. Uh, they go through these tapes, et cetera, explain it, and, then, and they go through it all and uh, lay it all out and acknowledge that, yeah, well, there's, some, there's clearly some, uh, some evidence that she started some things. But here's, here's what they said. Here's what the judge in the case said. Well, sometimes, yeah, she, in evidence, she did sometimes do things, but she also did it at times being sarcastic. In my view, there's no great way to be put to these alleged admissions because... It's trite to say, but nonetheless, these conversations are quite different than evidence in court. A witness giving evidence in court does so under an oath or affirmation to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Questioning can be controlled by the judge. Questions can be unclear, which are unclear can be rephrased. If a question is not answered, it can be pressed, sub subject to court's control. And if still unanswered, maybe the, the, the proper object of comment. None of these features apply to these conversations, which in any event, courted and misheard, had a purpose or purposes different from simply conveying truthful information. You know, she was being sarcastic. The tapes. If you guys haven't heard the tapes, I implore you to go watch the tapes. In fact, I'll try to make sure I put them up here to the video of mine, or you can check out uh, the Brian fella puts it together all the tapes. Go find the tapes and listen to yourself, and you tell me if she's being sarcastic. Now, you tell me that Johnny's text messages, well, you know what? That's enough for me to say I'm leaning towards this, you know? Those, those, uh, those text message make it more likely that he did it. That, that's more plausible. Let's use Judge Nicole's word. You know, the text messages prove that he was, it was more plausible that he was angry in text messages that he would do it. But taped evidence of Miss Heard admitting to doing, doing it, well, we can't question her. We can't really see if, he's, what, if that was truthful. She was being sarcastic. I mean, that would be unfair of us to just sort of assume that. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? The hypocrisy here is off the charts. I'm losing my mind. They literally put this in an appeal to, uh, judgment and reasoned why he can't appeal. Well, you know, your text messages are more plausible. Her admitting it, they hold no weight. She was being sarcastic. You should be angry too. This is unbelievable. The UK system, you should be in a, you are, this is an embarrassment of justice. I'm, I'm at a loss of words. I, can't, I don't know how else to say it. How on earth is that fair? He has no right to appeal this because the judge made up his mind. Well, I believed 
the text. I don't believe the tapes where she's using her own words. I, who knows who texted, whatever, whatever, why, the reasons, con that doesn't matter. You said you texted something mean, therefore you did it. I know she said it, but she was being sarcastic, Johnny. What are you talking about? That was sarcasm. I can't question her in a court. How do I know she's telling the truth? That's the logic in the UK courts. So here's uh, the, uh, thank God, uh, Johnny's uh, lawyer beautifully lays it all out, how fundamentally flawed this approach to fact-finding was because he gave unjustified special priority, the status of witness evidence, he does. Uh, the tapes were valuable evidence, precisely that kind. A judge was declining to attach weight to them simply because they did not constitute evidence given to court. Also, the judge approach to Zgar was inconsistent because in many other instances, he placed great weight on contemporary materials where it meant finding against Depp, the text, everything else I just told you. Absolutely facts. Here's, here's how the appeal... So you'd think, okay, well, yeah. All right, you know what? That's a, that's a fair point. Why was the judge biased in that? Well, we don't believe that's a correct understanding of what the judge was saying. He was plainly not advancing a general proposition that statements made in contemptuous material should be given any significant weight in accessing the truthfulness or reliability of witness evidence simply because they do not themselves constitute evidence given in court. Then why do the texts matter? Then why do they accept the texts? Which you just me you mentioned. You just said, well, because of the texts and, you know, yeah, okay. That makes it more likely. So I can see why he sided with her. But now you're telling me the other way around. Well, no, They're, these are, what's, what's the word here? Uh, contemporary material shouldn't be given any significant weight. How are the texts not the same? This is so biased. The judge was making a more specific point about the weight attached to these particular statements because of the particular circumstances in which they were made. Oh, but the circumstances around whatever Johnny said that apparently made it more, more likely. Argument two was a very long and structured and, and, and a, cr a criminous, criminous conversation undertaken at least partly for therapeutic purposes. As the judge points out, there, there, there's no context. No one intervened to clarify. For example, whether a remark is to be taken literally as opposed to be made sarcast sarcastically. <sighs> I'm, I'm, sh I'm just, this is going to be used against him. He lost. He lost the appeal. He's got nothing. He did it. He must have done it. This is what the court just did. This is what the son just got away with. The son, which proved nothing. Some proved nothing. There's no evidence. It's all, well, we thought this over that because, you know, he's he drunk. He was a drunk. He must have done it. You know, if he's drunk, it's more likely. Out in those tapes where she admits to that she did it and she was starting it up all the time, which changes everything. No, sir, she was sarcastic. That was for therapy. Who knows if she was telling the truth? But she lied under oath. Oh! <laughs> I just I can't believe it I can't believe it does not follow any admissions made in such a conversion that should it, it, it does not follow that any admissions made in such a conversation should be ignored facts they even acknowledge it we shouldn't ignore it but what to make of them in this particular case must be a matter for the trial judge in accordance with his or his assessment of the witness and the totality of the evidence we see no prospect on the appeal that, that we would second guess the judge's conclusion that no great weight was to be attached to any of these admissions made or arguably made by a certain these two conversations. So because Justin Nicole found no great weight, we don't know why. It makes no sense why he accepted those and ignored the others. Well, he made his call. It's over. Sorry. Nothing you can do. We would add that even if the judge ought to have taken face value, Miss Heard's apparent admission uh, that she had been doing this in the evening, uh, we do not believe that that would have led him to make a different view of her evidence about the pleaded instance. Correct, because he was biased towards her. Absolutely, you're correct. And then they go to the, my favorite line of the whole thing. Nicole was not uncritical of Miss Heard's evidence. <laughs> it's like saying, well, I have a black friend, so I can't be racist. <laughs> it's like, I, really? Oh, so he, he challenged some of her evidence. Great. So therefore, you know, he gave it a fair shake. He, she, he found that she exaggerated in regards to at least one aspect, that she was not being held uh, against, you know, in the situation. She couldn't leave, which was, again, one of numerous instances where she was caught lying. It illustrates that the judge recognized that the fact that Amber, that, that Heard might have on occasion done it, did not preclude him from finding that he did it as well, is basically what they're saying. Well, okay, so maybe she did it, but that doesn't mean he didn't do it. They're basically acknowledging, okay, we have proof of her doing it, but he might have done it then too. So therefore he did it. So therefore, yeah, the headline's true. That's literally how they just made the their mind up. They literally, again, I want to repeat that. They literally just said here at the bottom of the document here, it illustrates that the judge recognized that, yeah, she might on occasion have done that to him, the thing in the headline. She might have done it to him, but it does not mean that he didn't do it back because she said he did. 
I mean, <laughs> there's so much more to go through, but I, I want to clip this here because this is an important one and, and the other one's going to be just as long. So I implore you to stay tuned, share this, get this out there. Uh, tell me if you saw ads. Did you see any? I hope so. Uh, and if you didn't, again, if you can, this is such an important case. Again, if you're able to support in any way, either through donations or just subscribing or any of the follows, all of that can be done in the link tree document that's in there. And as well, my Cash App code is in there. Again, sponsored by Cash App today. If you guys use my referral code, you'll pay me $15 for the referral code and they'll give you $5. As long as you sign up, use my code and activate you know, your bank, put it five, and, and charge, send $5 out be active on the app. They'll then pay me and pay you. Uh, so it's a good way to help secure this channel forward, moving forward. I appreciate all of you. I hate to make this about the monetization, but it's not just about the money in this. The money, obviously, we our channels, we need it to live, but it's about getting the video out. And if YouTube's not monetizing the channel, if it's, if it's limited, this story doesn't get out there. And so it's important for you guys to help spread it. I'm so grateful for all the support. Justice for Johnny Depp is so important to me because this isn't about standing for him. This is about justice. And anybody who actually has gone through this case knows there's no evidence that proves he did it. There's nothing. And said it's the opposite. There's so much evidence and, and interviews and police officers that were ignored on his side because, you know, he drank. So he must have. That's literally what the UK just did. And then to appeal it, well, I mean, we're going to make the same assumption. So why are you wasting our time? He said he already made that decision. Yeah, what a, he, that looks good. So what if she did it too? Yeah, whatever. He said he did. So we're going to trust him. He's a judge. He's important. You can't challenge a judge here in the UK. That's how scary this is. So please, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. At least do that for more coverage. In fact, make sure you do hit the bell to get alerted because I'm going to be posting number two because guys, it gets worse. This gets worse. The appeals court admits that she lied about the donations. And so much more. But I got to trim this out. I don't want this to be an hour-long video. Please share this. Please get the word out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll link it there in the bottom left when it's ready. In the meanwhile, make sure to check out some of these. And hit that subscribe button to make sure to stay tuned for part two.